Hey everyone, Andrew Real 4x4 Adventures. We're down here at Sundown National Park. We're in the Broadwater camping area. We're site number nine. And just gonna give you a quick uh, run through of the site and a few of the facilities here. So let's have a little look. Here we are, site nine. The sites are all quite well sized. Um, be mindful, the other sites, no one's there at the moment, but um, they are reasonably close. So you come down, plenty of space, you could have a decent sized couple of tents, I've got two cars, I've got my little swag there under the gazebo, the swag here, all the campsites have their own uh, little barbecue fireplace, so any fires that you do have need to be in the barbecue space. Uh, all the campsites also have, seemingly, or most of them, have a little walking track. Uh, down towards the Seven River, so down there, mm, about 100, 150 metres, uh, you've got the, the Seven River. Now from camp site number nine, you can see that little building there just up there. That's the shower and toilet blocks, which I will go up and have a quick look at. Okay, so here we are just across from the toilet and shower area. So you've got a little map here that uh, shows where the, the 16 different sites are in the little you are here there we go if we turn around it's a site back there you've got the shower block and the two pit toilets so it's actually really interesting so you've got this donkey boiling system for the showers so that's what you do a little fire going on here you pour your water in the top warms up and then Get your water that comes out in the bucket. You've got a couple of buckets depending on how long a shower you want to have. And then you open up the shower here. Got the little hoist set up here, and you pour the water in, and voila, you've got a hot shower. Now we're here in May, and I definitely wouldn't be lining up to have a cold shower. But if you're here for multiple days, and, and in particular do want to have a warm shower, it is a a very cool alternative. So you've got two different showers and then you've got the, the two toilet blocks as well. Now from the, the toilet block here you have a path going down to the Seven River which is from what I've seen so far one of the, the better paths. Uh, I'll go for a walk down there and show you what it's like down at the Seven River. Alright so here we are down at the Seven River. As you walk down, it was quite evident um, with the, the floods earlier this year, but it's a much bigger river than I had anticipated. Um, look, we're here in May and it's pretty cold, so no, I won't be going for a dip. But look, during warmer weather, you could definitely you know, have little paddle boards, kayaks, if you were brave, definitely swimming. Uh, quite a beautiful spot where you come down from the, the walking path from the toilet blocks. There's a, a little bit of a clearing here, it's quite rocky, but um, you could definitely set up a couple of camp chairs and you know, have a bit of a relax here. I believe there are some fish in there, potentially some fishing, I'm not sure, I didn't look into that. Um, but yeah, look all in all, uh, this is the first time out to Sundown National Park and yeah, look, I've been impressed. Um, Again, we were in the Broadwater Campground, site number nine. Um, pretty keen to, to check out some of the other campgrounds. This one um, is accessible pretty much for all cars. There's a dirt road that you come along for, for a few kilometres. Um, I hear the other campgrounds do require a, a four-wheel drive to get to, so um, definitely come back and, and do some four-wheel driving and exploring. But that's the, the Broadwater Campground and Seven River. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks a lot.